All right, so before starting this video, I just wanted to apologize and give everybody an update. Um, I've been slacking on this channel and not really giving it the attention that it deserves, and my girlfriend was yelling at me, so this is an apology. I just really, I really have no excuse for not updating the videos. Um, I just really kind of got lazy. So I'm making a commitment from now on, um, actually from not now on, from October. October, I will be uploading a video every Thursday, at least one video every Thursday, hopefully indefinitely. Um, another thing about the comments and emails, they've been amazing. I mean, the amount of support I get and the amount of emails you guys send me, I mean, some of them are like pages long and, and it's unfortunate, but I really, I'm being honest, I cannot answer all of them. I can't answer every comment. I can't answer every email. And most of the reason also, I just don't have the time, but they, it's the same thing over and over and over again. So I'm seeing trends in emails and trends in questions. And what I'm gonna try to do is create videos that address those. Um, another thing I keep getting asked about is my online Profitable in the Limit Hold'em class. I'm once again sorry for that. I know we said we were gonna have it done like six months ago. I, I said it was gonna be out. Not happening. It's, um, I mean, it will be out. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult task. Uh, the way I want, uh, I'm very controlling in how I release products. And one of the dangers of teaching people how to play poker is that when you, when you're in front of me, I can see that you made a mistake or you can see that you misinterpreted me. But when it's in a video format, I'm not really sure. So I'm trying to create like a system or paradigm for really getting you to understand the information. And fortunately and unfortunately, that just takes a lot of time. And I need somebody who can, is really good with video. So anybody that's really good with like motion graphics and stuff like that, I'm trying to do everything and trying to do everything myself and I can't. So if anybody knows anyone, just uh, shoot me an email at blake at schoolcards.com. I would appreciate it. Um, all right, so my advice for today is this. I want you to essentially try something very, very, very simple. So if you're struggling with your game or you maybe you're hitting a little variance or who knows, you know, I want you to try and do something for me. Basically, I want you to either raise or fold and only call in position. So that's the rules. You, would, you have to either raise, fold, and the only time you can call is in position. So really, the only time I'd like you to call is on the button. And there's a lot of reasons why, but first of all, this, it, it takes your game back to just raising for value, right? Mostly, there's a lot of reasons why we raise, but primarily it's for value, it's to extract value from, our other, from opponents. So one of the things I would like you to do is just play a game that revolves around trying to extract value. Don't try to bluff, don't try to play any tricky moves, just focus on extracting value. One of the easy ways of doing that is just playing this raise or fold dynamic, right? So when you look at your two cards and somebody and you're deciding what to do, you're either you're raising because you think your cards are better than your opponents or you're folding because you don't think they are. Right? It makes your game a hell of a lot of simple, hell of a lot simpler. And one of the things it does is it automatically reduces your range. It automatically shows you that you're playing a lot of bullshit cards that you shouldn't be. And it also shows you that when you flat, when you call, it's hard to narrow people's ranges. So one of the things that tends to happen is that you don't know what to do. And you get to the Turner River and now all of a sudden you got this huge pot and you're like, ah, I have no idea what to do. So it really helps you avoid tough spots. And I, I, it's one of the things I tell all my players, even my more advanced players, like guys, just bring down your game to a, one that's extracting value. You know, just that's the goal. The goal is to have better cards than your opponent, not to outmaneuver, not to outplay. The goal is to have better cards. Now, of course, this is not optimal. This is not optimal, but this is just a little trick I want you to do if those of you who are struggling. Ideally, you're, you know, you're calling to get improper implied odds, you're doing all these things that, you know, make you hard to read. I know that, I know that, I know that. But really, the cool thing is most poker players aren't really that good. So like at a one, two game, most poker players aren't really amazing. So you could play this raise or fold game and you can walk away ahead and you can, you can make money. Why make the game complicated for yourself? Just try making it simpler and then slowly, 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 slowly start to add. So I'm telling you, just raise or fold and follow the raise guidelines I used in another video. Raise or fold and only call on the button. And then as you start to get better and better and better or as you start to get more and more comfortable or as your variance tends to get, you know, Maybe you're on a downswing and all of a sudden you're on an uprise. Then what you start doing is adding something. So, you know, you maybe you, you call the guy three off the button because, I'm sorry, you call the guy um, under the gun in the cutoff because you know he's just a really weak player and. It
and you think you can outplay him or something of that nature. But first, let's bring our games back to this fold or raise. Just, just try it. Those of you skeptical people out there, just do me a favor. For, just make me a promise that for two hours, all you're going to do is either fold or raise. All right, and then call on the button. That's it. And you're going to see it kind of has this really, really cool effect for a number of reasons that I just stated, but also for a number that I won't, and kind of let you figure out for yourself why this creates a, a strong dynamic and a dynamic that's so comfortable and often so profitable. You can, you can win a lot of money. It's, it's, it sounds crazy, but you can win a lot of money if you just fold, raise, and uh, call in position. Now, another thing is, because most of the mistakes come from calling. So the biggest mistakes players make is they call, right? So they'll call with weaker cards, they'll call out of position, and just cutting that out creates this awesome dynamic where you're making a lot less mistakes than you previously were. So fold or raise, let me know how it works out, and I promise you, from now on, a video, from not from now on, sorry, from October, a video every single Thursday, um, and my products, I will get them on as soon as possible. I, I really am excited about them. Um, they're, I've, nothing like this has ever been done before. Uh, they're highly effective ways. And those of you who are in New York, come join us at our profitable class that's held once a month, okay?